fairies thank you so much for joining me we're going to work today with the anna griffin 3d arch scene dies so here's that beautiful arch you have a box planner um a little urn here some topiary um uh bushes and you have some vines or garlands and they have look like um roses are on these so also um i'm going to be using some of the climbing vine uh decoupage and here's kind of what you get those are the different colors and the designs and it comes with some foam tape and um you get 80 die cuts in this all right and then of course our wonderful inspiration sheet so as you can see here and here so then what you're going to need to do is if you are going to use the decoupage um, die cuts is super easy you just peel away the paper from the actual die cut so this is the one that I will be using and you just see it just comes off so you don't have to do any fussy cutting praise God and just peel it away so then decoupage what it is is you would just take this and then you take this coordinating um, top piece or swag or the upper layer of the um vine and you would just put foam tape on it that's included and layer that up and then you could also grab another one of these the same and add another layer so make it as dimensional as you like all right so to get started i have already pre-selected my items i am going to um be using anna's this purple matte cardstock is from her spooky matte foil I'm just going to cover up uh, my card base. I hate to do that. So this is pretty gold foil, but it has to happen sometimes. So I'm just gonna cover that up. And I'm gonna just do that with some wet glue. So this is a, one of Anna's cards, this is five by seven. The cards are not included with the um, arch decoupage. You have to provide your own. We can't expect to have it all. All right, so then I have this piece of um, cardstock here that I cut out, and this is going to be my layer. And this is not Anna. This is from a paper pad that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you in just a moment. Make sure I have my. Okay, so I cut it a little smaller than five by seven, so that my um, matte foil can shine around it pretty so this is from the paper studio this is bright vintage and that's from Hobby Lobby so I've cut out some vines the smaller one here out of some just green cardstock and then I use the same purple matte foil cardstock from Anna and cut out the arch so what I'm going to do is just kind of like glue these to the back of my arch and you could do whatever works for you um, you know I'm just showing you some of my the way that I'm going to design the card so you do what works for you but um yeah I'm just getting that on right now and I'm just putting it on partially putting a partial of it glued on the arch and par part of it hanging off so yeah that's just pretty much what I'm doing and like I said you do what works for you okay so then I'm putting a little glue on the back and I'm just gonna put that there like this and you can use as many or as little as you like I think I'm gonna just go ahead and go around the full arch and you could even put some on the inside if you like so that uh, that's kind of you know how vines just grow however they want to grow wherever they want you have to train your vines I am not a green thumb um, gardener I'm more <laughs> but um you do have to train your vines so that's where the trellis and things come and your ties and all of that so anyways let me use some hot glue for this because that's not wanting to stick all right so just getting that up and I think I'll add one more right here okay so then now I have another layer I have another layer of um, 
another one of the sorry I had to think what I was trying to say another arch but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one of these that I cut out already and I'm just going to place that over the arch so it's a little larger than the arch and that is okay so I have foam tape on the back of that and I'm just pushing it around the arch okay and then what I'm going to do now is I am going to put foam tape on the back of this and glue this to my card and before I do that I have the other decoupage here I am going to just layer that you just line it up and it should be a perfect match and there we go and then I'm just going to go ahead and add some foam tape to the back of this and add this to my card so I've added that off camera just really quick so save some time and it just has the foam tape all over it I oh, forgot one of these and I'm just going to lay that down now if you don't want all of this dimension just use tape or the wet glue you don't have to have all this dimension okay so I did that so then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second one optional please remember optional and I'm just gonna lay this on top of it so like I said this is just however you want to create it this is the way that I'm going to do it okay so then now what I'm going to do is I have some more of the green vines here just a few more and I'm just gonna add those and I'm just going to um, do that here right here I'm just gonna use some hot glue sorry about the camera my glue gun is like right there all right so I'm just gonna like put that like right there so just kind of fill in some areas around the the um, little arch it's so pretty I guess I'll just put that there and yeah I guess it goes that way and I'll put one here so I know that I'm behind with this particular die set. Um, I know it came out last year, but I'm just getting to it. It is gorgeous. Okay. So then now what I've done also is I have another, like I said, optional, optional, optional. I have another one of these foam tape on the back. And I'm just going to put this now over top here and you can kind of offset it from the other one so that it really looks like those flowers are really growing and sticking out pretty and so then now what I have is the other piece of the layering swag and I'm just gonna move that down just a little so I didn't line it up exactly I have it down just a little make sure you take off your adhesive backings so look at that the pretty so far right okay so then now what I'm going to do is I have um, I have these these are not from Anna but these are 3d little decoupage fairies and I um, you just put some foam adhesive or some uh, 3d glue gel and you just kind of like layer it on and I decided to use this because um, I was doing decoupage with Anna's little decoupage vines here and also um, because of it's pretty with the arch okay so then it comes with another layer and I just have foam tape on the back and then it comes with a final layer right there so I don't know you just line the, the photo up the picture up to exactly oh this one I, <laughs> I need to peel off the adhesive back because I'm like it's not sticking but yes um so yeah that comes with three pieces um per fairy and you do need to provide your own glue or adhesive so then finally I have a bird here from Anna that's just perfect that I found in my stash to go with the colors of this card so I'm just gonna sit that bird on top with some foam tape and our card is finished now it is very dimensional um, maybe not for some but I think it's gorgeous and of course if you want to add a sentiment or something on the front you can do so me most of you guys know I don't always do that um, 
the one of the main reasons was when I sell my cards, I will make one card like this and it'll say happy birthday. And then someone will send me a message and say, hey, can you make me that same card? But let it say get well soon or new home or whatever. So I just like to leave it blank and they can customize it. So that all, sometimes I do that for the inside as well. But anyways, chitter chatter. So now we are going to do something that I don't think I have done on my channel. Um, not a large one, but we're gonna make a scrapbook page. So let me grab that. So of course we're gonna use the arch. It's pretty scrapbook page here, or it is a 12 by 12. Um, this is not Anna. This is a pretty fairy uh, from one of SARS fairy papers, fairy collections. So what I've done or what I'm going to do is I have cut the arch out in some white um, pearl paper. I have cut the other, I have cut the other um, vine here out in some greens. And I also cut out some of the smaller vines and some lighter greens. And yeah, so just um, I'll explain it as I'm going and you could just uh, watch me watch me create. So again, I'm gonna put these larger green ones behind and I'm just gonna do that with some blue. So um, I decided to do this scrapbook page. Um, I'm gonna probably put I don't have the picture I'm lazy guys I need to dig and go through some pictures I have the pictures on my phone but just not like readily available to show you for the video I'm sorry about that so yes yeah, so I'm just putting a glue on the ends just enough to get it to stick to I was about to say gazebo this arch okay so the darker tones and you can just double up if you have to. Um, I definitely want something here. So I'm probably gonna trim a little bit off. I'm um, just grab my scissors. I'm just gonna trim this part off. Don't be afraid to trim, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue behind that. And I'm gonna place that like right there. Okay, and then this one here, I'm gonna put I'm gonna trim a little bit off here and so then my final one I'm just gonna place right there so as you can see, it's just pretty um, greens, you know, not even fancy, not a lot of florals, and that's okay. That is, so here's a little piece of the one I had cut before. I'm just gonna add that somewhere. Don't have to waste it, I'll put it like right there. All right, so then now what I'm going to do is put foam tape on the back of this to give it some dimension. So I have the foam tape on the back of this. And I am just going to place this right here above these pretty little toadstools or mushrooms, whatever you wanna call it. So I've used some of Anna's um, charmed matte foil cardstock. It has a um, different shades of green. Let me just show you real quick. There's a black and there is a gold, okay? So I used that and I cut out this pretty frame. Um, this is one of my own frames and I'm just gonna put some dotted tape on the back of this um, to get this down because it's so intricate and it will take forever. By the time I finish it, the wet glue will probably dry. So I definitely don't want that. So I'm just doing that for my frame. So speaking of scrapbook, um, the Crop at Home scrapbook event is coming up for Anna. Um, I didn't go to the to the last one. Um, I'm thinking about going to this one. 
have you guys who uh, anybody watching have you been did you enjoy it i'm pretty sure you enjoyed it but uh tell me if i should go or not all right so i'm gonna sit this right here i hope i have it like lined up all right so then of course you could put like a photo on top of here it's large enough to take a five by seven but if you do a five by seven i believe it's gonna completely cover it but like a four by six and let me just hold my page to see okay so it looks great all right so then what i have here this is um from anna i just cut it out i just put one piece of foam tape for right now so that when i get ready to use it it is easy for me to take off and to journal on so i don't have to um mess that up right now so then i have um this die from anna as well i forgot what's what kit this came with but i'm going to stamp um i have a little stamp of my own that says dream and i'm just gonna stamp it with some cottage ivy from memento and i'm just going to stamp that i'm just gonna stamp that on that little sentiment thingy right here so i'm just gonna stamp dream 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 okay so then i'm just going to add some foam tape to that and put that on so yeah you could use this i might have said it already i don't know what i'm saying again you could use this little arch for everything your scrapbooks cards your journals whatever it is that you create um i'm gonna place that right above this arch dream okay so then i have some daisies and i made these i just cut them out one layer and i added a jewel and this is from um crafters companion garden of love i use the smallest one so i'm just gonna place these on i'm gonna place them around my little arch here and like i said i just cut one layer there and another one right here so it just goes with the actual paper got my glue webs everywhere all right so then i have another one here that i'll probably just put right there or right here no i'll put it on this side okay so i'm gonna put that one right there so then i have some of anna's butterflies that i cut out in some um, glitter paper and I'm just gonna put these guys in flight with some hot glue so I'm just gonna put him right there among the flowers and I'm gonna put her right here in the atmosphere put her right there okay so um i the little the other dies on here um which is the 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 box planner the urn and the little topiary boxwood bush whatever you call it i um i didn't use that but as you can see there's some inspiration here so that you know it's just i cut it out whatever and that's that so that is my scrapbook page and isn't it pretty it's so pretty so ready for bright colors of the spring and look at the little arch it's so pretty i love this die so much so here is my cardigan cardigan <laughs> isn't that something we wear so look two different looks two different projects so anyways look at this with the flowers not as decoupage i mean without the flowers only the vines not as decoupage this one pretty foil decoupage to the t um using the um the little things here the climbing vines so just different looks different projects so anyways thank you so much for joining me please give me a thumbs up if you like this video let me know that you uh enjoyed the content and uh thank you so much for watching see you soon bye